you a big round of applause for Junior Wilder Junior.
Chatting for the Word, with your host brother Oscar York The Voice, on your Spreaker platform. Now we chatting about the Word and from the Word, putting that all important, snap, crackle and pop in your Christian walk. Good morning, good morning, and we are enjoying to doing that, putting that snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. Our introductory song for this morning was Johnny Wilder Jr., the late Johnny Wilder Jr., and he's saying, what is your goal? Is your still goal still going to heaven? With well, all the talk that's going around, is your goal still heaven? Amen and amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen, amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm going to have a wonderful, wonderful morning! Hey, hey, yes, I am! Thanking, thanking the Lord for waking me up this morning, and we hope you all thank Him too. We on this top side of life, we are on the top soil, and not the soil on top of us. For this is his day that he created for you and for me. And the only thing we need to do is give him that love that he deserves from us this morning. Are you ready? Are you ready to praise the Lord? Oh, Belasco, sure hope you're ready to praise the Lord. He don't tell him from the word. We try to give you that extra push, extra something in your tank. <laughs> if I could use the word tank, in your tank, to keep you going for the Lord this morning. Is that fine? If we give you that extra you know, petroleum, uh, uh, extra gas, <laughs> to give you that push this morning so that you may keep your eyes on the goal, which is Jesus Christ and going uh, to heaven this morning. Amen and amen. We hope that y'all had a good weekend and we hope that uh, y'all got a chance to go praise the Lord on yesterday, giving the Lord all that love that he deserves, because we serve a good God, don't we? And he just not good some of the time, but our Lord, our Father, our Lord, our Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he is good all of the time, 24-7. Amen, amen. Again, we are so delighted to uh, be with you. We want to apologize for not coming on Friday. We was... We was down and sick, and uh, we were just sick Friday, and we want to just apologize for not coming on, we, but we hope that you enjoyed our Thursday program, although our Thursday program volume was low, and we hope that you are listening now. We hope that the volume has been uh, taken care of, and we just thank you for having your ears on and, and uh, listen to us here on Chatting from the Word. And if this is your first time listening to us here on Chatting from the Word, we just want to welcome you to, pro, to the program. We really, really do. We just want to welcome uh, you to the program, and we just want to thank you uh, for having your ears on, and we hope that you keep your ears on to the whole program. But we just want to welcome you to the program, allow you to know that you're not just our welcome guest, but you are also our honored guest. And we just want to thank you this morning for having your ears on. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen, 
amen. And amen. Yes, we just want to thank you for having your ears on and for listening to us uh, this morning. And if this is your first time listening, we hope that you enjoy what you're listening to and you enjoy what you're listening to. Tell others about us here on uh, Chatting from uh, the Word. We want everyone to tune in to us and listen to us this morning as we try to put that extra push in your Christian walk today. Is that all right? Is that I hope it is all right? And if you enjoy the program once again, share, share, share this program with your loved one, with your neighbors, with your kinfolk. Share it where you can share it at. And then, if you're on Facebook, click it at Instagram, share it with your friends on those entities too this morning so that they may have that extra snap, crackle, and pop. In their Christian walk today. Amen. And amen, my friend. If you truly believe that Christ is important. If you truly believe that the world needs to hear the message of the gospel. The message of the gospel. death, buried and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The gospel of hope, salvation, and of love. Help us out here on find. Uh, financially, from a financial standpoint, so that we may keep this fine program a rocking and a rolling. Now, here's our announcer to all you to know where you can send your proceeds. If you have not turned in your contributions as of yet, you can do it at paypal.com. Put in Brother Oscar's email address oscarlock3443 at gmail.com or you can go to Zell, Z-E-L-L. Here again, put in Brother Oscar's email address oscarlock3443 at gmail.com. We hope you can do it today. We would love to thank you in advance for your generous gift. Yes, yes, yes. We just want to thank you for your gifts, those that have given, and those of you who are going to give. We just want to thank you. Help us out. Help us to keep this fine program going. Everything costs nowadays, and uh, basically we cannot get around costs. Everything costs. And if you want to help us to spread the positive message of Christ that the world needs, help us out here financially to keep. Uh, this fine program going, and if you want to sponsor us, that would be also a beautiful, uh, beautiful thing. Amen. Yes, it would be. If you want to sponsor us, that would be a beautiful, beautiful thing, and we want to look forward for that, uh, that others may sponsor us. And, of course, we're looking for another co-host to help us to uh, bring this program on every Monday to Fridays, if it be the Lord's will. Uh, we need someone to help us because Brother Oscar lately been staying under the weather. So we do need your help in keeping this prime program going and going. You know, the Lord has has his ways of doing things. He, he really does. And we, uh, we don't know how long we're going to be around, but we know we're here this morning. <laughs> that's, a, that's a beautiful thing about we know we are here uh, this morning and we are we want to find a co-host who can uh, have the same vigor and, and the same vision for the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ and we hope that's all right <laughs> if there be anyone who's interested in in a radio evangelism work, uh, this would be a great uh, start for any tender feet. <laughs> Remember the word tender feet? <laughs> for anyone who wants to begin uh, that radio, um, I guess the radio occupation and the radio evangelism. And so we're looking for a co-host. And I'm looking for a co-host so I can have time to train that person and get that person ready to uh, continue the program long before I am gone. All right? Long before I am out of here. <laughs> okay? So we hope that we have many who want to help us to keep their fine program uh, going and 
going. Amen. And uh, a a man. We hope that we do. We hope that we do. Amen. And amen. Yes, yes, yes. This is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for, here on Chatting from the Word, all you need to do is to send it in, put it on our uh, uh, Facebook page, under the program that we share with you on Facebook, or you can uh, put it on our YouTube station, our YouTube station. Uh, you can put it in the comment section if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for. And as always, if you want to keep the prayer confidential, uh, that is fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality, just simply say, I better ask you to pray for me and call my name. And I'll be just so delighted and so blessed to do uh, just, uh, just that.
Oh, man. Amen. Again, this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request uh, that you want me to pray for here or chatting from the Word, uh, uh, you can use our messenger page and, of course, our YouTube page to put your prayer request in the comments and, of course, on YouTube. If you're following us on YouTube, be our next uh, subscriber on our YouTube station. But again, you can put your prayer request on our YouTube station, on Facebook, and anywhere you are listening to the program through. Again, this is our prayer time, and our prayer time scripture will be found in Philippians, the first chapter, verses 3 through 8. That is Philippians, the first chapter, verses 3 through 8. And in Philippians, uh, the third verse, first chapter, Apostle, Brother P Paul the Apostle, penned these words. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all make a request with joy. For your fellowship and the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, and as much as both in my bond, in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, of the gospel, ye all are partakers in my grace. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of uh, Jesus Christ. Here Paul is saying, uh, Paul is saying to the Philippians, always, in every prayer of mine, for you all make a request with joy. We need, my friends, to pray for one another, uh, especially of you in the body of Christ. We need prayers. We need prayers going up. We need prayers uh, going up. And my friend, if you really to approach the throne of grace, let us pray to our Father who says hi and looks well. Let's make our requests be made known to our Father. Our Father, who sits high and looks low, but our Father, the maker of this vast universe, the maker of all good, and the maker of us all, oh Father, we come to you this morning. In the humblest way we know how, with our heads, minds, thoughts lifted up to you. Father, first of all, in thanksgiving, thank you, Father, for allowing us a grand benefit of another beautiful, beautiful day. Another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right and to walk closer and Closer with you. Oh, Father, we so, so thank you. Thank you for that. And Father, we especially thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, the beauties of heaven, down to this cruel, cruel world to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to help us to connect with you. And Father, he took upon himself the cross, becoming sin who knew no sin, so that our sins might be washed away in his blood. 
Father, oh Father, 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 we we thank you so so much for that. Oh Father, 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 we pray for this world in which we live. Father, we recognize that the world stands so far far distance from you. But Father, what we request that you allow us just to pray for this world at this moment. Pray for all the mass killings. We pray for each victim's families. Oh, Father, we pray for wars and rumors of wars. We pray for the Russia Ukraine situation. Father, we pray that peace may be run in that region of the world. Oh, Father, we pray for that one soul who wants to step out from the evilness of this world and put you, Christ, on in baptism, being added to the body of Christ. Father, we pray that that person may have that courage to do so. Oh, Father, 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 we pray. Father, we pray for all those that lost loved ones. We pray, Father, that you comfort them. Father, we pray. Hello. Hi, Oscar. This is Amber with Future Home Care. How are you? Just fine. Good. I was just calling to let you know that Erica called in today. All right, then. Are y'all going to give me a replacement? I'm going to try to find you one. I'm sending out a message now. Okay, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. I want to apologize for that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, Father, we want to apologize for being interrupting our prayer this morning. Father, but, Father, we pray for those who are lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who had given their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray, Father, Father, we pray for the leadership that is leading this world in which we live in, Father. We pray, Father, that they never make laws forbidding us from worshiping you, but make laws where we all can live in peace and harmony. Father, 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 we pray, we pray, we pray. Father, we just pray this morning for the body of Christ. Continue on allowing the body of Christ being the lighthouse leading others to Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray that you be with every one of them. Help them through all their doubts, all their fears, all their shortcomings. Cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't resurface anymore. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for our program, Chatting from the Word. Help us, Father. Please help us keep this program on the air. Oh, Father, we pray for our messages this morning. We pray, Father, that there be someone who's listening to our message and they be competent. We pray for that one who's listening to the message. They have hope. We pray for the one that listens to that message. They have that faith and keep their faith and keep their sight on going to heaven. Oh, Father, again, we pray for those that are downtrodden. Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones. Father, we pray for those that have the courage to preach, to teach, and to stand up for the message of Christ. And Father, we just... We just pray, Father, for those that you keep on encouraging and helping them to stand for your word. And Father, as always, we pray that you keep us 
encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And a, a, amen. to thank you for uh, reading our scriptures along with us, for praying along with us, and as always, we hope that we pray for something uh, that's on your mind. So we want to apologize for being interrupted during our, our prayer time. That was a call I need to call to take, so we want to apologize for being interrupted on our prayer. And we hope, as always, that we pray for something uh, that is on your mind. Now it's almost time for our word chat for today. Now here is Brother Oscar York with the chat for today, the God of all comfort, setting Corinthians 1 verses 1 through 11. Now is Brother Oscar York the voice. Brother Oscar, it's time. Hey, 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 it is time. Thank you, our announcer. Thank you, our announcer. Yes, it's time uh, for our chat. And we, like I have said on uh, many occasions, this is about the best segment of the program for me while I'm chatting uh, with you about the, uh, from the Word of God. Because it's the Word of God in the end that's going to save us, not ourselves, not Brother Oscar. Not nobody but God, but Word, but Word, which is Jesus Christ, that's going to save us and to put us and to help us to uh, go to heaven. Because if you like me, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry, <laughs> I had to take a sneeze there. But if you like me, you you, you want to go to heaven. You want to set your sight on going to heaven and the best way I know how to set your sight and going to set your sight on going to heaven is studying of God's word which is the map way to heaven which is the map way to heaven to see what Christ wants us to do when it comes to our soul uh, salvation because many of us we just don't know what to do when it comes to our uh, soul uh, salvation but we want you to, we want to, we want to, <laughs> I'm sorry, we want to ask you a favor, and most know what the favor is. If you have a home, only if you're at home, go ahead on, get relaxed, get relaxed, get relaxed. Have a cup of your favorite drink, coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be. Whatever gets you relaxed in the morning, not the hard stuff now. <laughs> not the hard stuff. And get relaxed. If you relax in your recliner, recline on up. If you're more relaxed at your dinette table, studying the word of God, pull up a seat and have a sit. But what we want to ask you is to have a copy of God's word. Go get your copy of God's word if you don't have it. But have a copy of God's Word. Open it to our text this morning. Our text, of course, would be the second letter that Apostle Paul uh, wrote to the Corinthian church. And open, open it. Why you open your mind? Because you cannot receive anything in a closed mind. And many of us, not our, our mind is just not, it's not just closed, 
but many of us have locked our minds to uh, uh, to listening to the truth. Many of you do not want to accept the truth, even if it's coming from Christ Himself. <laughs> Amen, Brother Oscar. But that's what we do here on Chatting from the Word. That's all we do. We chat about the truth of God's Word. So here on Chatting from the Word, we, we just don't teach. We just don't preach. But what we do, we chat. The Word is, uh, is chat. We're chatting about the uh, Word of God. Because we don't want to talk over you, around you, under you, but we want to talk with you, trying to uh, reason with you when it comes to the Word of God. Can Brother Oscar reason with you this morning when it comes to the uh, Word of God? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We, we hope that we can reason with you because as uh, Brother the late brother Johnny Wilder singing the song. What is your goal? With all that's going around in the world, the world, along with Satan and Satan and his angels, has a way of confusing the Word of God. And be honest with you, they do it so so good, don't they? <laughs> that's why you you see so many. They are following their pernicious ways. Because Satan is good by winning those that are not in the Word. Not, in, not really studying God's Word, uh, which is Christ. Satan has won. He's winning many to his side. Now let me say this. You, you look at these mega churches, and I'm going to put it like that, and they have so many in the audience uh, that is believing what they're teaching. Not the fact that we're going to have many people, but the fact that if uh, millions and millions of people are listening to someone that's not standing on the Word of God, they're following Satan. Their mind is seared to believing a lie, Satan lies. Because the Bible says Satan himself can appear as an angel of light. He can fool the very elect if we don't continue on studying the Word of God to make sure that we are constantly watching and standing on the truth of the Word of God. And many of us, we don't want to study. Many of us, we don't want to hear Brother Oscar here on Chatting from the Word. We'd rather tune in uh, our, uh, on our... <laughs> On our RB station, uh, tune in to uh, so many other uh, people who lying on the, who's lying and who's joking and who's making jokes and who's fooling people to who they are and and uh, all that. And you know what I'm talking about. Not calling no names, uh, no show. But we rather watch that instead of listening. Uh, I listen to things like that. Instead of listening to God's word, and if you listen to people like that that make uh, uh, up nasty jokes and nasty pranks, I must wonder where's your mind? Is your mind going to heaven or is it going to hell? My friend, here on Chatting from the Word, we hope uh, that you are listening to us this morning. Uh, we hope that you are, and you all that listen to us share this program. Uh, Brother Oscar could not see it no better than that share program. And as I said, if we can just reason with you when it comes to the Word of God, we, we, you know, you'll be blessed, I'll be, we'll be blessed. We'll all be blessed together studying the Word of God. If we can reason with our pet dog, Rolo, to roll over, sit up, speak on command, play dead, jump through hoops. We should be able to reason with one another when it comes to the Word of God. And Brother Oscar just hope he can reason with you today. Because we, we are studying good lesson today. Uh, of course, we're coming from the 
the second letter that Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. And we're talking about the, the God of all comfort. Our God is the God of all comfort. And that's what we're talking about this morning, the God of all comfort. But before we get deep into our new study, let, let's, let's go back to 1 Corinthians, to uh, 1 Corinthians, the 16th chapter, the, and the last part of that lesson. And here Paul says in verse 20, all the brethren greet you, greet ye one another with an holy kiss. And we already talked about the holy kiss <laughs> on the last on the last program. And then verse twenty one says the salutation of me, Paul, with my own hand. Paul said, I wrote this letter with my own hand. No one did not write it for me. These are my words. These are this is my letter and this was written in my handwriting. Okay? If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema manifa. In other words, let him be a curse if they don't love, if any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we must love the Lord, don't we, Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. And, and the opposite of that, if you don't love him, if, you, if you're not being obedient to his commandments, you don't love him. I don't care how many times you may say, I love the Lord, but if you're over there doing all sorts of things, living like, living like, living like a, a devil. <laughs> the question is, I guess that's the best way Brother Alfie can put it. The question is, do you love the Lord? Don't say you love the Lord and, 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 and you live in no kind of way. Don't say you love the Lord and, 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 and you're just cursing all over the place. Don't say you love the Lord and you, you're gossiping by everything and everybody. Don't say you love the Lord. Just say, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to overcome some things. Just say that. Say, I'm just trying uh, to overcome uh, some uh, things. And then verse 23 says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love be with you all in Jesus Christ. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful way to end a, less, uh, end a letter? He's telling the Corinthian church, and I love it. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. The love of Christ. The love of brothers and sisters to carry on until Christ comes back. And then let's go to our lesson for today, and that's found in the second letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the uh, Corinthian church. And we'll entitle this uh, the God of all comfort, because he is the God of all comfort. When we doubt and out, he'll comfort us. When we are going through our storms, he'll comfort us. When we're going through some things we just don't understand, he will comfort us. When we're going through some things and we cannot see the end of the tunnel, he is a God of all comfort. And I must admit, sometimes when we get in these storms, because I've been there, it's hard to see the light at the end of a long tongue. But I guarantee you a light will come, and the only thing you need to do, have faith in the Lord, and just thank the Lord for allowing you to be here one more day to go through those storms. Because it's through the storms that we're learning to, you know, to get close with Him. It's through troubles that we're learning more of Jesus Christ. And him crucified. Amen, Brother Oscar. Amen. But we are studying in the second letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian Church of God. Let me read it, and then we're going to come back. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy, 
our brother unto the church of God which is at Corinth with all the saints which are in all Achaia. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God even our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulations that we may be able, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort where with we ourselves are comforted of God. Thus the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation which abounded by Christ, also abounded by Christ. And whether we uh, we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we are also suffer or whether we be confident it is for your consolation and salvation for our hope of you is standfast knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings so shall ye be also of the consolation for we will not Brethren, that you, that you, brother, have you ignorant of our trouble, of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, above strength, in so much that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raised the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, great a death, and that deliverer, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Oh, my friend, we serve a deliverer, don't we? A deliverer. But here in the first Verse, Paul, he addressed who he is. He said, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of God. Here, Paul, first of all, he's allowing us to know who he is and what he is. He's, I'm an apostle of Jesus Christ, of God's will. And then he, he said, I am here with who? Timothy. Now recognize, he didn't call Timothy an apostle. He just said, Timothy. Timothy was nothing but a, a preacher of righteousness. So he mentioned Timothy, that he, uh, he, he himself, and Timothy is writing the second letter to the, the church of God that's in Corinth. And the church of God is not talking about God the Father. But the church of God is the church of God, the God who bled and died and purchased the church with his own blood. Go with me to Acts 20. To Acts 20 real quick. And we're going to show you something here because most people, when you mention God, they just can't Reference who God should talk about. Many believe we talk about God the Father when we talk about God the Son. So let, let's go back to Acts 20. And, and let, let, let's look at this. And I think we have mentioned this several times on the program. Acts 20, verse 28. The Bible says, Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock, over the which the Holy Ghost had made you overseer, talking about to the elders and the leaders of the Church of Christ, overseers to see the Church of God, which he had purchased with his own blood. Now, God the Father never came down. God the Father never shed no blood. The only God that shed his blood was God the Son. So when the, when the Bible is mentioned church, the Church of God, it's talking about the Church of Christ, the church 
of Christ. That's the church that the Bible is referencing to when it's talking about the church of God and not God, uh, the Father. Okay? And I'm not going to go into specifics of who, who may be used to that phrase. We're not going to do that this morning, but I just want you to know this morning that who Paul is referencing to. He is referencing, when he said the church of God, he is referencing the church of Christ, which is at Corinth with all the saints which are in or a chaos. We will leave you right there with that thought. The church of God. And the church of God is the church of Christ. And if you're not part of the church of Christ, you're not part of God the Father. Because if you're in Christ, you're in God. And working along with the Holy Spirit working in you. So my friend, if you're not in the church of Christ, you're not in God. Oh, but I don't care how many times you may say it. I don't care how many times uh, you may reference to it. Oh, I, I'm a Christian, but I'm a part of the church of God, uh, a church of God in Christ. You can't go to heaven being in the church of God. Of which, that doesn't even make sense. Church of God in Christ? Christ is the one who died for the church. Christ is the one who gave his life. Christ is the one that bled. So if you're not a part of the church of God, and the God that we're talking about is Christ, God the Son, you cannot have salvation. And I know many of you, oh, Brother Oscar, we don't want to have, we don't want to hear that, but that's the fact of the truth. We want to thank you for listening to us this morning. Thank you for being a part of us this morning. Thank you for being in our audience today, and we're running <laughs> out of time, and I see that. We're running out of time. We just want to thank you for being a part of our day. And thank you very, very much. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, now be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is being done. Father, we want to thank you for allowing us to put this program on the airways. Father, we want to thank you for all of our listeners. Father, we pray that to be with them, help them to walk with their step, crackle and pop, each step that they may take. Now may the grace of God, so we communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us. Until we meet again, in Jesus' blessed name do we pray, amen and amen. Love somebody, love everybody, bye-bye, and may God bless.